long should a movie be? The following 20 movies are all part of a rare group of three hour movies, a statistic that tends to make people either roll their eyes or rejoice. So with that in mind, I'm Ellie for What Culture here with the 20 best movies over three hours long. Number 20, RRR. Back in 2022, Indian action drama RRR took the world by storm. It wasn't just a hit in India, where it quickly became one of the country's highest grossing films, but also in the West too, where audiences flocked to it in droves when it debuted over on Netflix. Returning to it after its historic run, which also saw it become the first Indian film to win an Oscar, it's easy to see why RRR was such a hit. A fictionalised story of two revolutionaries and their fight against the British Empire, the film employs a deliriously over-the-top execution to tell its otherwise powerful story of resistance against colonialism. With extravagant musical numbers, wild action sequences, and sweeping set pieces, the wonderfully outrageous experience spends its three-hour runtime hitting audiences with one audacious risk after the other. Its fiery tiger fight and bromance montage come to mind, and it never runs out of steam. Its runtime zips by, and for a film over 180 minutes long, that sure is a feat to admire. What a ride it is! Number 19, Inland Empire. Never a man willing to explain the greater meaning behind his work, the incomparable David Lynch described Inland Empire as a film, quote, about women in trouble and it's a mystery. Vaguely adding, and that's all I want to say about that. Lynch's longest film, unless you're counting Twin Peaks The Return, but let's not reignite that debate, Inland Empire would probably still be a confounding experience even if he was willing to expand on it. Even by his own standards, this might just be the director's strangest work, but also one of his most creatively bold. A surreal acid trip through the professional life of an actress whose personality is warped by her latest role, the film revels in its experimentation, its fragmented storytelling, its ambiguous doom-laden horrors, but lures you in with seductive creepiness and vibrant energy. Anchored by Laura Dern's magnetic performance and Lynch's terrifyingly unique imagination, as well as his humanist worldview and love for the ineffable, Inland Empire is an epic brain teaser that begs you to hold on and never let go. Number 18, Shoa. Running at 9 hours 27 minutes. Shoah, Claude Landsman's harrowing documentary that explores the people who survived and perpetrated the Holocaust, is a viewing experience of vital importance. Taking over a decade to make, Shoah, which means Holocaust in Hebrew, follows Landsman as he interviews survivors and officials involved in one of history's greatest crimes, allowing people from all walks of life – soldiers, train drivers, would-be victims and outside witnesses – to tell of the horrors the Holocaust unleashed. Filled with startling revelations and gruelling testimonies, Shoah comes at its subject with stark honesty, finding the humanity in its subjects and the pain in their stories. Never an easy watch, it nonetheless grips from the off, holding you tight as secrets are brought into the light and anguish becomes tinged with hope. Though you probably won't watch it in one go, Shoah still demands to be seen by anyone seeking answers about its subject, and insight into how truly great documentaries come together. Number 17, Andrei Rublev. Since its inception, Andrei Tarkovsky's epic Andrei Rublev has gone through many changes. Censored by the Soviet Union when it was first released, re-released in several high-profile edits, and finally released in its original intended form in 1973. In its original form, running for just over three hours, the timeless drama is at its best. Taking place in the gloomy heart of medieval Russia, Andrei Rublev is split into several distinct chapters, each carefully charting the titular artist's career, disillusionment and life through the murky haze of a country in violent flux. Crafted with Tarkovsky's signature visual style, his long takes, murky black and white cinematography, dreamlike imagery, and remarkable command of set and pace, creating an enveloping recreation of Russia's past, the biographical stunner ruminates on religion, memory, violence, and political upheaval with absorbing results. Admittedly, Andrei Rublev has an episodic narrative and unsettling action tough to digest at times, but if you let Tarkovsky's vision and musing sweep you away, you'll find a life-affirming opus impossible to resist. Number 16, Until the End of the World. Before it was cut and recut for almost three decades, Wim Wenders' gorgeous sci-fi epic Until the End of the World was reportedly 20 hours long, but the director was contracted to cut it down to a more bearable length. 
Bendis himself didn't like the original cut much, but it wasn't until 2019 that he released the film he wanted to, a visually mesmerizing, thematically beguiling stroke of creative splendor, charting the misadventures of a woman caught under the spell of a man with a mysterious past and a grand mission. To explain until the end of the world and all it says would ruin the enrapturing effect of watching it for the first time, since Vendors unfurls its secrets and human drama with stirring meticulousness and devastating twists of fate, aided throughout by Robbie Muller's engrossing cinematography. Ahead of its time and still remarkably daring, Until the End of the World may not be Vendor's greatest project, but it's certainly his most wonderfully indulgent, full of life and miraculous creation. Number 15. An Elephant Sitting Still The first film in a career destined for greatness and also the last, the directorial debut of Hugh Beau, An Elephant Sitting Still was released just after the young filmmaker committed suicide at 29 years old, leaving behind a faultless film and an indelible legacy. The interwoven, time-jumbled story of four strangers whose paths cross one day in China, the film follows its lost souls as they're driven by their desire to find the eponymous sitting elephant, an animal said to simply sit silently ignoring the world, as a means of either ignoring or combating the rutted path their lives have have taken. Guided by Bo's evocative direction and enveloping sense of time and place, an elephant sitting still doesn't offer a faint-hearted journey, but its ability to weave great empathy into its assessment of alienation, suffering and purpose is beautifully hopeful. The way Hubo makes his film come together removes it over four hours of heartache marks an impressive juggling act from a master storyteller, one lost far too soon. Number 14. Killers of the Flower Moon The second longest film of Martin Scorsese's illustrious career, beaten by mere minutes thanks to 2019's The Irishman, Killers of the Flower Moon is the work of a filmmaker at the height of his powers, so effortlessly constructed, so brilliantly thrilling, that not a single second of its runtime is wasted. The tragic tale of a series of murders that plagued the Osage Nation in 1920s Oklahoma, which was set in motion by a ruthless political boss to secure their oil-rich land, Scorsese's epic is a historical letter of condemnation, injustice and resilience in the face of insurmountable odds. Vital in its history and staggering in its production, its sweeping score and stunning scenery a haunting echo of the film's overwhelming loneliness, Killers of the Flower Moon is Scorsese at his most humane but heartbroken, telling a story of greed and America's past without compromise or reprieve. In a career spent telling stories about human rapacity and the sins of our past, Scorsese has rarely been so brutally forthright or compelling. Number 13. Titanic Even after all he's accomplished over his career, Titanic remains James Cameron's purest vision as both a filmmaker and storyteller. With astounding practical effects, including meticulously detailed scale models, Cameron's real-time exploration of the Titanic sinking is first and foremost a romance, shared by Leonardo DiCaprio's penniless artist Jack and Kate Winslet's suffocated socialite Rose. Their connection is intoxicating, so much so it's easy to forget the tragedy to come. But the tragedy is still there, waiting and closing in. When the sinking begins, Cameron switches gears in the most impressive of ways, turning its love story into a thrilling tale of survival that honours the real-life souls who were lost while also maintaining focus on its central pair, whose final moments together remain harrowing. Romantic and gorgeous, bracing and devastating, Titanic is a gripping story that unfolds like a dream that becomes a nightmare, and the results are electrifying. Number 12. Magnolia The longest film of Paul Thomas Anderson's career, produced when he was just 29, Magnolia is an ensemble drama that follows a group of distantly connected souls blindsided by tragedy, trauma and identity crisis. A film about terrible parents and biblical forewarnings, Magnolia's cast includes Tom Cruise as a secretive motivational speaker, John C. Riley as a bumbling cop, William H. Macy as a former child prodigy, and Julianne Moore as a trophy wife who learns she's really in love with her dying husband. At times darkly funny and in others deeply affecting, Magnolia moves with the pace of a thriller, urgent and twisting, but manages to pack so many compelling character moments into itself as it goes. Much is open to interpretation, but every character, every line, every twist is vital to Anderson's vision. 
Throw in Philip Seymour Hoffman as a heartbroken nurse for good measure, and what you have with Magnolia is one of the finest performed movies on this list, as well as one of the most emotionally resonant. Number 11. The Deer Hunter There have been many great films produced about the Vietnam War, from Apocalypse Now to Platoon and Full Metal Jacket, but few have carried with them the raw horror of The Deer Hunter, a relentless three-hour ride into hell. Directed by Michael Cimino, who would never reach such highs again, The Deer Hunter follows three friends whose lives are destroyed by the war, and whose attempts to find peace back home after all they've seen and suffered fail at every turn. Breathtakingly shot but hopelessly grey, Cimino's drama does what few war movies have been able to, paint a vivid portrait of life after the war as well as during, and make each as thrilling as the other. Aided by the tragic performances of Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken, Meryl Streep and the late great John Cazale, the Deer Hunter does find some peace in its closing moments, but leaves behind a horrible feeling of loss in its wake that echoes to this day. Number 10. Hamlet In the vast pantheon of Shakespeare adaptations, Kenneth Branagh's Hamlet may well be the most faithful and complete, never wasting a single line or moment from the play. Featuring a staggeringly packed cast who committed to their roles with unwavering care, including Jack Lemmon, Robin Williams, Julie Christie and Kate Winslet, as well as Branagh himself as the eponymous Prince of Denmark. Hamlet is immaculately paced despite its towering runtime, and filled with visuals matching its cast monologuing at every turn. Far and away the finest achievement of Branagh's movie-making career, Hamlet is the product of a man clearly crafting a film from the heart, and deeply invested, despite its over faithfulness to imbue it with his own style and risks. A daring adaptation of perhaps Shakespeare's greatest tragedy, Branagh's take on Hamlet is one for the ages, exploring the prince's downfall without a wasted word. Number 9. Barry Lyndon In 1972, following the success and controversy of A Clockwork Orange, Stanley Kubrick decided to adapt the William Thackeray novel The Luck of Barry Lyndon for the big screen, and the resulting film is surely one of his very best. Following the exploits of Irish outsider Redmond Barry, whose attempts to climb the social hierarchy of 18th century England leads to a series of duels, betrayals and ironic twists of fate, Barry Lyndon uses spare natural lighting and bold camera work to tell a story as violent as it is alluring and as cynical as it is eventually tragic. Renowned for its innovation, Kubrick's costume drama features a large collection of moving parts, each working in perfect harmony, from its compelling ensemble cast, led by a brilliant Ryan O'Neill, enveloping musical score and stunning production design. Barry Lyndon still feels fresh and shocking to this day, and for a career spent pushing the boundaries, it may just be Kubrick's boldest accomplishment. Number 8. Decalogue Initially released as a 10-part miniseries, Krzysztof Koslowski's magnum opus Decalogue has spent much of its life republished as an epic film, in which each of its 10 chapters complement each other to deliver a visceral display of parabolic storytelling. Set within a poor housing estate in Poland, the drama's chapters are each based on one of the Ten Commandments, and follow a resident of the estate as they grapple with religious, personal, romantic and moral turmoil. One takes aim at the death penalty, another finds a woman intent on raising her daughter after a scandalous affair. Rooted in a deep philosophy but concerned with real lives, Decalogue is slow-moving yet endlessly engaging, full of big questions about the way we live and come to terms with the world around us. Kuchlovsky never gives easy answers to his character's dilemmas, leaving that to his audience. Tales of love, faith, austerity, sex and deceit – all of these and more can be found in Decalogue, a film only as long as it is rewarding. Number 7. Malcolm X Spike Lee has always been a director striving to tell urgent stories in a subversive, thrilling way, and Malcolm X remains his most audacious vision, and perhaps his most successful. Though it goes through all the motions of a standard biopic, charting the life and times of civil rights activist Malcolm X through his youth to his assassination in a linear fashion, Lee infuses it with such creativity, joy, frustration and vibrant energy that every scene practically shakes the screen. Anchored throughout by a captivating Denzel Washington, Malcolm X explores it all and refuses to sugarcoat the journey. 
Lee knows X was a controversial figure and refuses to hide from the how and why of his divisive reputation, but the film never loses sight of his humanity. Sharply focused, Malcolm X is as heartbreaking as it is thrilling and remains as urgent as it ever. Number 6. JFK What makes Oliver Stone's magnum opus JFK such an enduring thriller is that it refuses to give answers about President Kennedy's assassination, those involved and those affected. Rather, it's about a feeling how one important man's death shook the world and left it trapped in a state of terrible uncertainty. Stone injects his film with an energy that envelops from the first frame. It's so fast-paced, frantic, and almost desperate that watching Kevin Costner's embattled district attorney Jim Garrison search for answers sometimes becomes too much to bear. New revelations bring new questions, new characters face fresh horror impossible to ignore. Within this fervent energy, Stone manages to juggle an impressively stacked ensemble cast, which aside from Costner, also includes Gary Oldman, Sissy Spacek, Joe Pesci, Laurie Metcalf, John Candy, and a scene-stealing Donald Sutherland all of whom deliver brief but faultless performances. If Stone's intentions with JFK were to capture an era of heightened emotion, conspiracy and fear, then he achieved in tenfold, and in the process delivered a thriller of timeless influence. Number 5. The Godfather Part 2 One of the many genius aspects of Francis Ford Coppola's seminal crime drama The Godfather Part 2 is that it's both a sequel and a prequel to The Godfather, a narrative device that works wonders to hammer home the the film's themes of moral defeat, family, and the lie of the American dream. On the one hand, The Godfather Part II is about Al Pacino's Michael, the new Don of the Corleone crime family who's desperate to save his empire after an assassination attempt. On the other, it's the story of his late father Vito's founding of the family business after he emigrates to the US. With commanding, career-defining work from the stars Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Diane Keaton, Robert Duvall, and John Cazale, Coppola's sweeping sequel paints a vivid portrait of American crime, family legacy, greed, and retribution, as Michael falls ever further into his life of power. Beautifully shot yet unbearably tense, drenched in a feeling of inescapable foreboding, The Godfather Part II demands unwavering attention right until its haunting final shot. Number 4. Schindler's List Schindler's List is a film entrenched in pop culture that it's easy to forget just how incredible it is until you revisit it. Based on the novel Schindler's Ark, Steven Spielberg's drama follows industrialist Oskar Schindler as he races to save Polish Jewish civilians from the Holocaust. Shot in beautiful black and white, Spielberg was inspired to direct the film by both the documentary Shoah and the rise of Holocaust deniers in the media. In doing so, he set out to create the most accurate and un uncompromising portrait of the unimaginable genocide that took place during the Second World War. And it's safe to say he succeeded, though not without injecting moments of hope into the horror. Oscar's attempts to save those less fortunate than himself are heroic and inspiring, and those he helped are more than just would-be victims, they're given voices and humanity. At once powerfully performed and thrilling, Schindler's List doesn't shy from the atrocities he's exploring, but his deft humanism and creative direction makes it an intensely watchable affair despite the heartbreak. Number 3. Lawrence of Arabia Based on the life and times of T.E. Lawrence, a British archaeologist and soldier who fought alongside Arab tribes during the fight against the Ottoman Empire in World War I, Lawrence of Arabia is a film that succeeds at all it tries. At once a thrilling war drama rife with intense battle sequences and an intimate character study of one man's shifting allegiances, David Lean's epic retelling of the First World War's Arab Revolt is masterfully constructed both in story and scale. Complete with magnificent set pieces and startling imagery, the film shifts between time and place with remarkable ease, using its vast war sequences and political intrigue to craft a tale of identity, friendship and loyalty that, some 60 years after its release, still feels as alive and enthralling as ever. With career best turns from the great Peter O'Toole, Alex Guinness and Omar Sharif, Lawrence of Arabia finds lean at the height of his powers, and cinema itself at its most unforgettably majestic. Stick. Number 2. The Tree of Life The pinnacle of Terence Malick's preoccupation with time, space, and self, 
The Tree of Life runs just over two hours theatrically, but shortly after its release, a full director's cut viewed by Malik as an alternative version of the film rather than an extension of the main project was produced by the Criterion Collection. With over an hour of extra material, this version is the best of Malik's drama, which serves as both a visually dazzling exploration of human history and the intimate autobiographical tale of a troubled young boy and his relationship with his parents. One cold and demanding, one peaceful and kind. Crafted with impeccable care and shot to gorgeous perfection by cinematographer Emmanuel Lebeski, The Tree of Life has long been a film easily criticised for its self-indulgence, but when the results are this beautiful and passionately conceived, who wouldn't want more films like it? The greatest high of Terence Malick's uniquely inspiring career, The Tree of Life is a moving voyage through the meaning of life that's worth every single second. Number 1. Seven Samurai For many, Seven Samurai is the finest achievement of Akira Kurosawa's career, and is widely seen as one of the greatest and most influential films ever made, a bold statement easy to justify given the action drama's lasting effect on movie making. Even ignoring its cinematic importance though, its extensive battle scenes, rare multicam filming, and arresting visual storytelling, Seven Samurai is just, well, an awesome spectacle. The kind of thrilling, innovative action flick that still feels fresh, daring, and teeming with life even 70 years after its release. The tale of seven samurai warriors who were hired to protect a village from encroaching bandits, Kurosawa's rich masterpiece follows a pattern well known to modern eyes, but at the time, proved to be something truly special. The story of human valour, honour, evil and heroism that still sings with a deft emotional touch. The inspiration for a variety of films to come, from The Magnificent Seven to Star Wars, Seven Samurai is a gorgeous, bracing thriller, but also a one-of-a-kind viewing experience so inspired and timeless it will always find a way to lure new audiences in with its spell.